In this video, I am going to talk about what Cisco Meraki is and what are some of the Meraki products. I am also going to create a network with security appliance, switch, access point, phone, and camera devices using the trial version of Meraki dashboard. Cisco Meraki is an IT company headquartered in San Francisco, California. They focused on cloud-managed IT and networking solutions. Meraki was acquired by Cisco Systems in December 2012. Their products include wireless, switching, security appliances, phones, and security cameras, just to name a few. All their products are fully managed in the cloud, or the Meraki cloud-based management, which is accessed through a web interface. Here are some of the benefits of this web interface. It allows users to manage all of their Meraki network devices via a single simple and secure platform, which means all devices can be configured entirely from a web browser. It provides good visibility of the whole network. It doesn't have controller hardware or management software to install and maintain. It stays protected and up-to-date with seamless over-the-web firmware and security updates. It brings sites and remote workers online faster than ever with zero touch provisioning. And it isolates and fixes issues in minutes with built-in remote troubleshooting tools. Let's talk about how does Meraki architecture work. The purchased devices are connected to the internet. Once online, it will automatically connect to the Meraki cloud-based management. What Meraki uses is a centralized network management system to manage all the devices. Those devices are accessed, monitored, and configured through a web-based interface platform called Meraki Dashboard. When you use a computer connected to the internet, log into the dashboard using your Meraki account. Through your dashboard account, the Meraki devices can be configured. You don't necessarily have to be on-site. You can be anywhere in the world as long as you are connected to the internet and log into your dashboard. Now let's talk about the Meraki Dashboard. Meraki Dashboard is a modern web browser-based tool used to configure Meraki devices and services. It allows to manage the whole organization through the same web interface or the same centralized management interface that is intuitive and easy to use. In addition, it doesn't use the command line interface to give instructions. The Meraki Dashboard enables network administrators to view network clients bandwidth consumption and application usage across all sites, and push policies to block, shape, or whitelist activity to optimize performance and user experience. Deep visibility and control provides real insight from the internet accessible device. I already created my account, which I am going to use in this demo. I am going to show how to add and configure Meraki devices using a trial version of the Meraki dashboard. The goal of this demo is to connect and configure security appliance, switch, and access point devices to the Meraki cloud using my Meraki account. As you can see in the picture, the security appliance is connected to the internet. The switch is connected to one of the ports of the security appliance. The access point is connected to one of the ports in the switch. I would also like to connect an IP phone to one of the ports of the switch, an IP camera also to one of its ports. But before I demo how I connect and configure using the dashboard, let us first talk about the different devices that we are going to use in this demo. First, MX64 Security Appliance. It is a network security device and its main job is to be a firewall. As a firewall, it can monitor and control the incoming and outgoing traffic to make sure that the network is secure. It has other features like intrusion prevention, malware protection, content filtering, DHCP, router, VPN, and SD1. MX64 is designed for a small office with a maximum of 50 clients. It has multicolor LED status light. At the back, it has two dedicated WAN ports, which are 1 gigabit Ethernet and USB 2.0 ports. It also has four 1 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports. The fourth port can be used as LAN or WAN. Next is MS220 8B switch. It has 10 ports, 8 1 gigabit Ethernet RJ45 ports, and 2 1 gigabit SFP. Its job is to provide wired connection to wired devices like PCs. It also serves as POE or power over Ethernet. 
PoE can power the access point device without connecting it to the outlet to have power. Next is MR18 access point. It is a high frequency wireless device. It has dual radio frequencies which are 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. It eliminates the cost and complexity of traditional on-site wireless controllers. Next is MC74 Cloud Managed Phone. Based on its documentation, it is a premium VoIP phone with an elegant design, featuring a 7 inches touchscreen display, integrated gigabit Ethernet switch with pass-through port, dedicated volume button, mute button with status LED, handset with on-hook proximity sensor, rear and side USB headset ports, 3.5 mm audio headset jack, speakerphone or microphone, ambient light sensor, and multicolor notification LED. It provides simple, intuitive management and the ability to integrate with business applications. Finally, MV7 for Cloud Managed Camera. It has 256 gigabytes high write in Duran solid state storage, 1080 pixels high definition video recording. It is supported by 802.11 AC wireless. It has a microphone for audio recording and its infrared radiation illumination is up to 30 meters or 98 feet. According to the Meraki website, here are some of its benefits. Cameras automatically purchased publicly are signed with SSL certificates and all Meraki management data is always encrypted by default. Since video is stored on the edge, cameras will continue to record even if the network connection fails. Solid state storage and intelligent software allow for customizable video retention. It quickly assesses food traffic in a store or monitors where guests are gathering. It detects people and vehicles using computer vision and increases accuracy over time through machine learning. All camera analytics functionalities are anonymized to ensure privacy while still providing intelligence. For example, you'll know that a customer entered your store at a specific time, but not the customer's name. At this point, I will now demonstrate how to connect MX64 security appliance to the network and to the cloud. Log in to dashboard. Go to organization, then select create network. Enter Meraki name and network type. For this example, the name is Victor Network. The network type is combined hardware, since I am planning to have multiple types of hardware added to my network. Scroll down. Note that in an actual adding of devices, there is a need to type in the serial number of each device and to add the license information to make each device operate. However, since this is only a demo in the trial version, I can just simply look for the devices and add them in my network. Now, I have added the devices to my network. Notice that right now, components can be seen on the left side of the screen. Its interface is standardized. Each component has monitor and configure category options. The monitor category gives the tools to monitor the network. This is used if you want to know what's going on in the device. The configure category gives the tools to configure the different components of the network. The next step is to get the actual MX64 security appliance and connect its power cable. After that, connect the Ethernet cable to the one port to have an internet connection and to register it to the cloud. The internet port is in the DHCP mode, so it will look for an IP address from your modem. In short, my MX64 security appliance becomes the gateway of my network in order to connect my LAN to the internet. It will now act as a DHCP server, firewall, and router. At this point, I will create VLAN. VLAN will divide the network into different segments. Let us configure VLAN in the dashboard. Find the routing section, then enable VLAN. Leave the existing native VLAN for management. To add VLANs, click the Add VLAN button. On the pop-up window, type in the following details to create wired, wireless, phone, and camera VLANs.
in the per-port VLAN settings, change the ports 1, 2, and 3 from Trump to Access Mode and change VLAN from 1 to 10 for these ports to be used to connect to wired PCs. Retain port 4 as this is where the switch will be connected later. At this point, let us now connect MS220 switch to the Meraki dashboard. Go to switch in the menu and select the switch ports option. On the right side, don't change ports 1 and 8 settings as they will be used to connect to the security appliance and access point device respectively. Select and edit ports 2 to 5 from trunk to access mode as they will be used to connect wired and devices like PCs and change VLAN to 10. Select and edit port 6 from trunk to access mode. This is where the IP phone will be connected. In the VLAN phone, enter 30. Select and edit port 7 from trunk to access mode. This is where the smart camera will be connected. Change VLAN to 40. Let's check the settings in switch ports to see if we configured it correctly. At this point, we are now going to configure the access point device. Select wireless in the menu and choose SSIDs in the configure category. Let us create two SSIDs. One is for connecting personal devices and the other one is for connecting guest devices. Their names are personal Wi-Fi and guest Wi-Fi. For the personal Wi-Fi settings, enter password for the pre-shared key encryption. For the wireless clients to receive IP addresses from the security appliance, choose the breach mode in the client IP assignment. Use VLAN tagging and input 20 for the VLAN. And here's for the guest's Wi-Fi. Enter another password for the pre-shared key encryption. Finally, click the Save Changes button. After configuring in the dashboard, get the MS220 switch and connect it to the correct port in the security appliance. Get also the MR18 access point device and connect it to the correct port in the switch. Connect the MC74 IP phone and MV74 security camera to their appropriate ports in the switch. The devices will download the configuration from the cloud and your Meraki devices are expected to perform properly. Here are the references of this material. Thank you.